Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I did not expect I'll be taking this video so soon, but I really want to share with you what we have been keeping under the sleeve for this Ever Solo DMP A6. We have been using this DMP A6 Master Edition for the past few weeks. Simply put, this is a fantastic streamer. It has a large, vibrant color display touchscreen. The availability of the iOS and Android application, it is so user-friendly, as well as the streaming services available in this EverSolo DMP A6 is wonderful. You, it is all you can ask for for a streamer. It can work as a streamer with its analog output via the XLR and RCA connector at the back. And this EverSolo DMP A6 also can work as a transport where you may connect this digital output over USB or SPDIF to an external DAC like the Dynaflips Average 12-1. So this all in all is an amazing product. The only the only thing I will nitpick on this DMP A6 from EverSolo is really the built-in switch mode power supply. If you have been following my channel for a while, you know that I'm an advocate of linear power supply. I always recommend the customer to use linear power supply for their product hi-fi equipment in particular, whenever possible. But what to do with this EverSolo DMP A6 built-in switch mode power supply? It doesn't come with a power brick that you can replace easily. There is this AC inlet here, allows you to connect and power cord to it right away. So there's no way that you can change Mm, the switch mode power supply easily without dismantling the product. I and my colleague as well as our counterpart LHY Audio has been cracking our head how to do it right. Is there a way to upgrade the power supply of the EverSolo DMP A6? Hmm, quite a mouthful. I'll just give it a short name A6 in the later part of this video. So we have been working with LHY Audio. Is there a way to upgrade the A6 power supply to a linear power supply? So obviously there are a few options that are available on the table. First is a toolbox solution where you will need to have a linear power supply like this, put it on top or put it aside, right beside the DMP A6 or the A6. Use a DC power cord to connect the linear power supply to the A6 uh, modify A6, I should say. Ah, before I forget, I should also put a disclaimer. Modifying the product will void the warranty. If you are comfortable in doing so, you may continue watching this video. So, so there are a few options available on the table. One is to use an external linear power supply, supply like this, a purpose-built power supply that is for the A6 streamer. Use a DC cable to connect the output of this linear power supply to the A6 streamer, the modified A6, to power up the streamer A6, the A6 streamer using external linear power supply. But that will introduce another box. Another box, another variable, another DC cable that you need to worry with. Then you may get asked by your soulmate, your partner, or even your family member, why do you need so many boxes to make the music sound good? Hmm, I get asked this quite often. So I totally can share the sentiment with, with you. Right, so we go back to the drawing board and we think we should have the linear power supply built into the A6 instead. So we go back to the drawing board and think of a way how we can do it. After a few weeks, hmm, actually several days, we came out with something that is, in my opinion, a very good solution that you may adopt to the A6 streamer. A linear power supply that is purpose-built for the A6 streamer and it can be housed in the same chassis in this Master Edition or the Standard Edition. I have the linear power supply with me, right beside me actually. Let me just share it with you 
for the first time. This is the first time, uh, I think I should call it a world premiere. This is a linear power supply that developed by LHY Audio and Beat Technic, purpose built for the A6 streamer. And this particular linear power supply can replace the switch mode power supply in the A6 and house in the same housing without soldering required. So that's the interesting part. You may just pop the top cover, remove the existing switch mode power supply, which I did already. The existing switch mode power supply look like this. Uh, it weighs probably 50 or 80 gram, but this at least 300 gram. A linear power supply uses a transformer and a lot more components compared to switch mode power supply. So anyhow, I digress. Remove this switch mode power supply from the A6 with no soldering required and install this linear power supply into the unit in the same chassis. Connect the cable, put on the screw, and you're done with upgrading the power supply or the, of the DMP A6. It is that simple. I'll be putting up guides on bittechnic.com as well as taking another video for you to show you how you can do that. So you may ask, why is it, cost, why is it the manufacturer want to use switch mode power supply instead of the linear power supply? Some manufacturers say that switch mode power supply on the current market right now provides low noise output and it can mm, probably better or claims to be better than the linear power supply. But in my opinion, it is still a long way to go before the switch mode power supply can beat the linear power supply. We did a measurement of this switch mode power supply noise versus the Bittenic XLHY Audio switch mode power or linear power supply for the A6. It's quite a long name, pardon me. And the noise output of this switch mode power supply is, hmm, I wouldn't want to exaggerate. It's about 10 times larger than the linear power supply from Bittenic XLHY Audio. Uh, just to put in some arbitrary number, this switch mode power supply noise is about 800 microvolt, and this LHY audio linear power supply is about 60 microvolt. So it's 10 times reduction in the noise output of the DC from these two devices. And this test is under a one ampere load. So under load, the linear power supply can perform equally well. This is how the two module looks like, but uh, how to do it? I'll do it. I'll take another video for it. And I have another DMP A6 installed with the linear power supply. I just want to flash it to you. And this is how the linear power supply can be installed in the same chassis. And I think it is a pretty neat solution. This is how it looks like the DMP A6 without the display as well as the top cover. And you spotted a blue color transformer as well as some of the linear power supply stuff in it at the left corner. This is the Bittenic XLHY Audio linear power supply for A6 purpose built, and it can be fitted in the same chassis. Uh, just to give you some perspective of this um, linear power supply, so it has an AC filter. Ah, oh, I forget. I forget to bring my pointer. So sorry. <laughs> right, there's this AC filter that filter an AC noise. This is the encapsulated Talema transformer. It step down the AC to DC, AC to a smaller AC, and there are some components underneath it. There are socket diodes that converts the AC to DC, and through this reservoir caps, as well as the mm, super regulator. Uh, these are the super super regulator. It uses discrete um, component like this. These are the MOSFET that output that allows you allows the linear power supply to output high current, low noise, and high speed DC power to the DMP A6 via this silver plated cable. So the package includes this power supply module as well as the silver cable for you to connect the linear power supply to the A6. So we have been working on this for a, a few weeks already and I thought I should be taking this video and share it with you right away. Uh, before, before this thing really hit the market. Um, currently, it is in production. It will be ready in mid of October. It is available to order on the bitechnic.com. If you feel like this, th 
thing is for you and if you feel like upgrading the sound quality of the already very awesome DMP A6 streamer I think you should consider this all right I think I have uh, talked about all the things I want to talk about in this video if you like the content on my channel do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you soon bye bye